Hi all, welcome back again. Today I'll start with a small story. So one of the student, let call, let's call him Alex. He goes to a classroom and tells his teacher that, uh, you know, he has solved one advanced math problem at home. And teacher looks at him and says, yeah, uh, I don't believe you. You must be exaggerating. But looks at him, looks at the puzzle and to her amazed, uh, the puzzle is solved. But on the other hand side, then Alex innocently asks, uh, what do you mean by exaggerating? And of course, now the teacher has to explain what exaggerating means and tell the student, un let's say, um, even though she was not intended to teach, but now she has to tell uh, the negatives of what what exaggerating means, right? And this scenario is happening in today's uh, world, right? So let's consider the teacher as large language model where it tries to learn from everything that is on internet. So all the good things, all the bad things, you know, biases, all the experience that it has. So let's have an analogy uh, of large language model as, as, as a teacher. And then can we do something where, for example, the large language model teaches a small language model, all the good things, all the textbook knowledge, so that all the biases and bad things can be filtered out and it can create a good student and that's exactly what has been happening in today's world uh, where a Microsoft uh, research team uh, has done a quite a good job to come up with really small model called as 5-2 PHI hyphen 2 phi 2 model which is very very small in comparison with a large language model in terms of size and all the requirements in is uh, it is required to execute and train uh, but it has shown a tremendous um, output so let's go ahead and see uh, let's let's try to see some of the pages uh, what uh, 52 has offered so it's there basically uh, microsoft research block where they say that you know uh, 52 is just 2.7 billion parameter language. That means um, the whole language model can fit on to something like 6 GB or 7 GB of RAM or, uh, you know, of, of, of um, GPU. It is as compared, for example, just to for reason, comparison, uh, GPT 3.5 is 175 billion parameter or uh, BARD, if I'm not wrong, uh, the PALM, P-A-L-M from, from Google is 540 billion parameter and only God and OpenAI knows how, how big GPT-4 and GPT-4.5 are. So, I mean, they have all the knowledge so that their pro performances is quite good, but 5.2 being such a small language model, it can perform up to 25 times uh, bigger language, you know, the, the comparison of 5.2's performance can be compared with a large language model as big as 25 times of its own size. So that's a very nice finding. Um, today, I don't want to talk more about OpenAI's language model of GPT 4.5 or GPT 4. Today, we'll try to see um, how can we use 5.2 model. So let's get our hands dirty and today I'm not going to use any of my uh, Jupyter notebooks or my own uh, editors. I'll try to use the free one uh, which is available called as Google Colab. Uh, why? Because I really really want every one of you to give your hands on on this particular uh, language model so that you know uh, you can learn one step at a time. So let's go ahead and see where can we have 5.2 accessed. So 
there is a very nice website called as huggingface.co so you, can, you just search for it hugging face and I'm pretty sure the first website would be hackingface.com. Let's go to models and it would most likely be one of the top model. If not, uh, just search for five hyphen two and you will be landed onto the page. Uh, you can read through, it will have its instruction, how to use it, um, how how can you get appropriate answers on it but let's directly pick up the code that we want to execute so this is the code and i want an editor so let me directly go to collab.google this is its landing page let's go to open collab I think this is one of the very few places where you can be able to access GPUs for free. I think there can be another sites, I don't know, but this is one of the sites where you can access it for free. Okay, I just pasted the code that I picked it from uh, Hugging Face uh, 5 to page. Uh, just read its um, license, please because you are still not allowed to use it for commercial purpose. You can use it for your research or your practice, but you cannot use it for your commercial purpose. Um, very important though, before you click on connect here, you should be connecting to a runtime which has a GPU. On a CPU, this will fail or may fail, I don't know. Um, I tried to use it on my local, um, mac os it did not work even though it was an m1 processor i tried to use its gpu but it did not work maybe i was doing something wrong um, i tried to use it on other cpu uh, the large cpu machine still i was not able to do it but i think for for sake of uh, today's demo let's go with a gpu i'm selecting a 100 GPU, but I know that Google Collab will not give me. Um, I, I try. If not, it will automatically go to V100. If not, it will go to T400. But let me see if I can get this particular GPU or not. Let me connect. It takes few seconds to connect to appropriate runtime. Um, oh. As I said, I will not get A100, but I got V100. Uh, a 12 GB RAM or almost 13 GB RAM uh, I got. Um, a GPU and a disk size of almost 80 GB. So let's go ahead and execute our code. First thing is, of course, we'll have to load appropriate libraries. Um, until last version of Google Collab, the transformer was not installed by default, but good thing is now uh, on their runtime transformer is installed by default. So you really don't have to run another pip command, so which is already a great thing. Uh, yeah, we'll have to set the default device as CUDA. That means one of these NVIDIA GPUs we need. Okay, I really want to go line by line here we're gonna load the model just have a look at this gpu uh, ram usage maybe not now but maybe later okay this i should have told you i was expecting an error but it says that it did not find a particular library so this library needs to be installed to run a command, you'll have to give an exclamation mark to run it. Okay. Yeah. In normal circumstances, you will have to restart the runtime. So you can just go here 
and restart the runtime but I'm just gonna try not to restart and see if the error goes away yeah the error is going away see it's trying to load all the model let's go to a hugging face hugging face page where it says what all files are required so if you see uh, this particular model has these many files and it's trying to load these files so this model is basically 5 GB plus another half GB and yeah it's a 6 GB size model that will be definitely loaded into memory of the GPU see as the model is been downloaded it's it's included in the GPU RAM so hopefully it should take not more than eight or nine uh, GB of RAM basically okay uh, please be sure that you execute the model and the tokenizer command only once uh, otherwise it will load double and then you make it uh, out of memory problems okay and here let me just start with normal input um, see don't try to compare it with GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 because these models are instruction tuned model you know it was a foundation model and top of it there was a lot of training already done whereas 5.2 is a foundation model so it was just uh, let's say pre-trained but uh, not instruction tuned so therefore um, consider it as a fill in the gaps or predicting next word um, models so here the largest planet of solar system is and I'm pretty sure it will try to answer the correct answer rather if you ask what is the biggest or largest planet and maybe it's just gonna repeat itself or it's gonna say what is the largest uh, star what is the largest galaxy and things like that so let, let, let's see we'll try to give an input and ask him to complete the sentence rather than a question answer format so the largest planet of solar system is and it should answer appropriately okay uh, first I'll try to just execute it and maybe at later point of time I'll show how it works how the tokenizer work okay Uh, it takes a little bit time as I said it's a small language model um, we don't have too much of resources uh, so yeah we'll, we'll face delays but hey this is all done locally locally in the sense on such a small machine I mean if you want to run GPT-4 I'm pretty sure you would need H100 or A100 clusters as big as you know hundreds of them put together to get fast appropriate responses uh, what you get on chat GPT so this is already an amazing see we already got the result the largest planet of the solar system is Jupiter and then there is some gibberish because as I said it's an pre-trained model and not instruction tuned so uh, it it may not it just tries to generate the next word until it reaches the maximum length um, Microsoft has given this uh, model for you to do a lot of instruction training so I'm pretty sure big organizations are gonna use this one and then have appropriately trained with their you know millions and millions of files to have appropriate instructions given to it okay I hope uh, this small demo was 
good enough for you to start on something um i'll have a follow up um, demos done on 52 because i truly truly like this particular model and it has a tremendous uh, potential you know a, a, a large language model or let's call it as a small language model that can fit onto your personal laptop or personal computer uh, with such a small one small gpu and we can try and get uh, some meaningful um, replies from it uh, I, I believe the feature is quite bright um, i really want you guys to go through not the research paper but a blog where it has just showed how how nicely it is performing so for example there is something called as um, let's say benchmarks and there would be uh, some some numbers on it so let's let's think benchmark as kind of an exam so for example llama with 70 billion parameter has taken an exam called as yeah maths exam and it has scored 61 marks and 5 to as i said almost 35 times smaller or 25 times smaller has scored 61 in this exam or for example in coding it has even done better than llama 2 uh, not just better quite better 38 against 53 so um, i i really want you to read through be curious and look forward in the future what's coming next that is all for today guys have a wonderful day